Santa. Please bring me a friend for Christmas. Thank you, Casper. Dear Santa, please bring me a friend for Christmas. Oh! Christmas is the time for friendship and goodwill. Friendship and goodwill. <laughs> I'll show them. I'm going out to make friends. Sir, you dropped a package. Thanks, Sonny. I got it! Gee, even on Christmas Eve, people won't be friendly with me. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas.
McGurk, the world's strongest man. <laughs> Introducing Misto the Magician. Get away, kid, you bother me. Who will entertain you with baffling feats of legerdemain.
I'm giving you a lifetime contract as star attraction of the circus. <laughs> star on TV. <laughs> fair and square way to settle who should autograph the kid's book. That's right. We'll let our public decide who is the top TV cowboy star. Now you're gonna see some real fancy shooting, little feller. Wowee! That's real keen shooting! See that bottle over there? Schooner. Well, do I get to sign your book now, boy? Gosh, I think it's a tie. Watch me break that tie, sonny. <laughs> now I'll sign that book for you, kid. Yahoo! How's this for trick riding, little fella? Well, I can That's the not so fast, boy. Let him try to tuck this. Oh, that settles it. You look like the best cowboy star, Mr. Quiet Burp. Will you please sign... <laughs> Genuine cowboy can rattle us, dear. I guess there's no doubt now who should autograph that book of yours. Why, you double-crossing coyote. You were the first to play dirty, Bill. Quiet. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Uh, Mr. Cowboys, why don't you settle this like you always do on television? And how's that? Why, with a gun duel, of course. That's a good idea. I'll meet you at the corner of Hollywood and Vine at high noon. I'm rock 
roll the rock and roll and cowboy. The only original rock and roll and cowboy. The bad men who live in this town will soon be six feet underground. I'm rock, roll, rock and roll and cowboy. Sonny, where, where are you going? going? Can I have your autograph, Mr. Rock Roll? I'm rock, roll, the rock and roll and cowboy. The only original. Can I have your autograph, Mr. Rock Roll? Can I have your autograph, Mr. Rock Roll? I'm rock, roll, the modern singing, two can sling and rock and roll and cowboy. Startled me, old boy. I'm sorry, sir, but why are you booing? You'll have to excuse me, Sonny. I can't stop to chat with you right now. I must continue my booing chores. Boo! 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 Oh, boo! How about a spot of tea? That would be very nice. It's been beastly lonely here the last hundred years. Then why do you stay? Well, there must always be a Montague in this castle. And until one of my descendants comes here to live, I must stay and haunt this old place. Gee, Sir Montague, maybe I could find one of your descendants. Bully, Casper, bully! I hope you can find one, old boy. Sir, is your name Montague? Pardon me, but is your name Montague? By Jove! A ghost! <laughs> Excuse me, but are any of you named Montague? Blimey! A ghost! <laughs> someone named Montague? I'll try. Montague. Hmm. What's the first name? Gosh, I don't know. Hootman! A ghost! <laughs> Gee whiz. I'm not having any luck at all. Londonderry Offnage. Maybe there's a Montague in there. The children name a ghost. Oh, gosh, I give up. the 
Montague. Oh boy, a Montague at last! Casper, you did it. I'm free at last. Gee, I wish I had a friend to play with. friend here's some more bread <laughs> gee ma it's lonesome without anyone to play with now don't you worry casper I have a big surprise for you. You have? What's that? Well, let's go and see. It's Cousin Spooky. Yes, and he's going to spend the weekend with us. <laughs> Spooky's real cute. Now you two run along while I get lunch ready. Come on, Spooky. Let's play hide and seek. Nah, let's go out and scare people. Ooh, ooh. Spooky. Good ghosts don't scare people. We're going to play hide and seek. Ah, that's a sissy game. I want to scare people. I want to scare people. Now you count to ten while I hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come! Ready or not? Hmm. Now I wonder where Casper's hiding. <laughs> to be an honest-to-goodness good ghost if you keep insisting on scaring people.
guess that cures his hiccups for good. Wake up! Wake up! Two. Wake up! Three. Wake up! Four. Wake up! Five. Wake up! Six. Wake up! Seven. Wake up! Eight. Wake up! Nine. Service department, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? I was watching a TV panel show and my set went off. That's so. No picture? No picture. Black screen? Just a black screen. Probably a tube. It was a wonderful show. I was spellbound. No kidding. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a man over in five minutes. <laughs> Send for a TV repairman, mister? Yeah, I was listening to a panel show and went off. That's so. I was engrossed. No kidding. I think it's a two. Say, that's quite a set. It's a ten-incher. You think it's worth fixing? They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it broke? You take a fighter. <laughs> After 30 years, his legs go, right? What's legs got to do with it? It's not a console model. You're a young man, right? Your legs are still good, right? What do you know about old legs, correct? I think it's a two. I'll let you know what it is. I told you, it doesn't work. And here he is, Eddie Gordon. Say, it's waking again. <laughs> hey, why did you switch it off? It was waking again. I heard a terrible hum, didn't you? That was the applause. That's the worst kind. I'll take it out of the shop and give it the once-over. Wait a minute. Can't you give it the once-over here? You got no once-over equipment. Maybe it was momentary. Maybe the electricity went off in the house. Look at that electric clock. It's three hours slow. I better take that clock in, too. For what? The once-over. Probably just needs a cleaning. Hold it, hold it. I'd like to try the TV set again. Do you mind? Hey, you are nothing. Leave it warm up first. It should go on like that. It went on like that. Here he is, Eddie Gordon. Didn't you hear it? You didn't hear Eddie, boy, did you? Take my advice, pal. Don't overdo it. I'll take it out of the shop for the once-over. How much is the once-over? 27 bucks for the set. Make it 26.50. The clock will hit you for another 29. And what about that lamp? Well, what about it? The light ain't burning. That's because it ain't turned on. Okay, the lamp stays and it doesn't cost you a penny, except for the service charge runs you $4.98. Stay away from the toaster, mister. May as well try that too while I'm here. Stand back, I'm gonna plug it in. And here he is, Eddie Cork! There's that static again, where's that plug? your phone, mister? So long as you don't call Canada. Oh, you must think I'm a crook or something. Hello, Charlie. Ralph. I got a guy here, 30 West 55th, who gets Eddie Gordon on the toaster. Bring it in and give her the once-over. Okay. Charge you another 10 bucks for the toaster, make it 975. How about the radio phonograph? Oh, something wrong with that, too? Oh, it works all right. Only when I put on the radio, I get the phonograph. And when I put on the phonograph, the washing machine stops. Fabulous machine, mister. They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it rips my clothes to shreds? I'll tell you what. Let me take those two items in for the once-over. Give me a hand here, will you, buddy? That's a pilot right on top there. That's a boy. There we are. Now open the door for me. Where's the elevator? I can't see a thing. To your right. Over here? That's it. Now take a sharp left. 
Sharp left, eh? Watch the stairway. <laughs> Service department, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? Hi, Charlie. 30 West 55th calling. Ralph's on the first landing, and the Late Late Show is coming out of his forehead. Yeah, I think he needs the once-over. from the big city. Hey, where is everybody? Ain't anybody home? Oh, my gosh! That cactus catastrophe out there. That hungry is Cat Carson, Hyman. And he's driving us plum loco. Cat Carson, eh? Well, just leave him to your cousin Hyman.
Oh, my gosh. Ah, there's nothing like a Western omelet smothered with mouse rules. Gosh, I'll have to work fast. things as ghosts. Mr. Scoutmaster, sir, can I be a scout? <laughs> Look who wants to be a scout.
says all you have to do is rub two sticks together. That's well. I'll go get lots of firewood. The ball is under. It's under this one. Well, what do you know? The gentleman wins the money. It, just a minute, buddy. How about doubling your money? Okay. Now, which shell is the little ball under? Under this one. Right this way, Chim. Try your hand at a game of pool. Make the eight ball in the side pocket, and you double your money. I'll bet my eight dollars.
29, 30, 31, 32. Hey, mister. Here, take a look at these dice. What's wrong, chum? I think they're loaded. <laughs> Hey, pal, I got a hundred to one shot for you in this race. Country gentleman. Country gentleman? I'll wager thirty-two dollars. Broadway Jim is in front by one length. City Slicker is in second position. Country Gentleman is now moving up to take the lead. Yippee! Come on, Country Gentleman. Atta boy, stay out in front. Gosh, Country Gentleman needs a little country air. The horses are coming down a stretch. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Country gentleman is back in the race. Here he comes. The winner, Country Gentleman. Gosh, I win. $32. Thanks for the tip, my friend. Okay, buddy. Reach for that sky. $10,000 reward for trapping Bo the Chip. Well, what do you know? Miss Cuddles, I trust you slept well. Just right for Milady. And does Milady wish to play as usual after breakfast? Meow. Very well. I shall fetch your favorite toy. Kitty Cuddles the third, my estate shall go to my faithful butler, Snardly. What? Why, that's me!
faithful butler, Snarly. <laughs> believe all those silly stories about us. Oh, a real ghost! Gee, looks like that sure make it hard for me to find a friend. play football. Oh, boy! Would you, Casper? Now, the quarterback calls for the ball to be passed to the fullback, who laterals to the right halfback as the opposing team is held on the line of scrimmage, while the left halfback tries to block the opposing right guard as the opposite left end comes in on the play. Now, how would you play that, Billy? as we go along. Okay, Casper, throw the ball. Here's a forward pass, Billy.
toots. Billy! Hi, Billy! We need you! Casper, I'm gonna play football on my brother's team! You play quarterback, Billy! Okay, Johnny! Get a load of who's playing! Thank you.